everybody, welcome back to my channel. Just Denise, it's me, Courtney Denise, and we are back with another video. Yeah, yeah. Mama over birthed me, I had a crown. Yeah, yeah. This is my destiny plaguing now. As you can see in the title of this video, today I am doing boy names that I love, but we will not be using. Me and Philip do know what we are going to name our son, and I will share that at the end of this video if you don't know what we're gonna name our son already. Um, if you are new to this channel, again, my name is Courtney Denise. <laughs> and I do a bunch of videos here on my channel, hair videos, including my sister likes journey, vlogs, braiding videos, makeup, just all things mommy and just me. An outlet for me to just be me, just Denise, hence the name. So if you are new here, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification so that you are notified every time that I drop a new video and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so i do want to jump right into the video i don't want it to be too long i have about 12 names that i'm going to share with you all and a little bit of background or meaning behind the names honestly i will say that most of my other pregnancies i did kind of have a feel like okay i know it's a girl so i already thought of girl names but with this pregnancy i didn't really have any boy or girl names really like, okay, this is what I really want to name my son. I have a few names that I've always loved over the years. Biblical names, regular names, different names. Because a lot of people, in one of these names I'm going to share, a lot of people be like, bruh, like you would really name your son that? Yes, yes I would. If the father was okay with it. But I just want to share some of the names with you all. I have the names on my phone here, so let's just jump right into it. These are not in any specific order that like I like or love per se. It's just the list that of names that I've either always loved these names or you know, when I seen the name, I'm like, that would be cute or catchy, but again, you know, here we go. So the first name is Elijah. I have always loved or liked the name Elijah. I'm not sure why or where the name came from. However, a few people in my family use that name or name their children that name. And I'm really big on my kids sharing names with other people. Like, don't get me wrong. I know I don't have the only Trinity in this world. I know I don't have the only Saray in this world. And now I don't even have the only Ramila in this world. But I'm not that type to name my kids a name that someone close to me has named their kids or is named, if that makes sense. So Elijah was kind of just a name I've always loved, but I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not naming my son that. Another name or the second name would be Malcolm. Now Malcolm, I think, came from the Cosby Show. <laughs> know why like I used to watch it when I was younger a lot but I don't know why I just fell in love with that name I did have a huge crush on the character Malcolm but I thought Malcolm was a very strong name it's a name that to me I'm not gonna say it does or doesn't fit a kid but when you know you grow up put names on resume job applications to me Malcolm's just sound powerful if that makes sense. So Malcolm was definitely on my list. The third name that I love is Cain. And yes, I would spell it with a K instead of a C. Cain, if you do not know, is a biblical name. And all of my children, in a sense, have biblical, biblical names. Ramila, only part of her name is biblical. Mila means merciful. Saray's name is in the Bible and it's actually pronounced Sarai in the Bible. I did spell it the exact same. I just put a spin, I guess, on how I said it. And I love her name in Spanish. It's Sarai. Isn't that beautiful? Sarai. And then, of course, Trinity. Everyone knows that Trinity is a biblical name. So, believe it or not, Cain is actually a biblical name, and I love the name Cain. Again, I did fall in love with the name before I knew it was biblical. Don't judge me. I love Cain. I'm a menace to society. I guess just his character, as well as everyone knows who knows me, knows one of my dream cars is a 5.0, and I call it the Cain 5.0. Don't mind me, y'all, but Cain, I love that name, especially with the K. The next name, the fourth name, y'all, when I tell y'all people talk about me all the time because of this name, this is not a joke, and I'm so serious. I love the name Hector. <laughs> I don't 
don't know why I've always loved that name. And people used to look at me like, what? You would really name your son Hector? I would. I don't think any black man would go for me naming my son Hector, but let's say it's some weird coincidence that I was to get pregnant or did get pregnant by somebody and the dad wasn't in the picture or he just really didn't care what I named my son. I could have seen my son being named Hector. I don't know why. I don't really have a big meaning behind it, but I don't know. I just, I like the name Hector. Hector. It just seems strong. <laughs> Don't judge me, y'all, okay? We are we are not here to judge. That's what we're not gonna do. The fifth name I actually did not come up with. Um, my goddaughter came up with it, and it is a mixture of my name and her name. However, it will be spelled with a K, and it's Korshan. I'm not gonna say I do or don't like the name. It does have a ring to it. Yes, I do feel it's like a tad bit ghetto, or a little bit on the different side. And what's crazy is Philip likes the name as well. And my goddaughter, I'm pretty sure when my son is born, that's all she's gonna call him is Quashan. Even though I'm not naming my son Quashan, it's different. But like I said, I didn't come up with the name. My goddaughter did. And it's just a mixture of, quote, of course, of Courtney. And then I'm not gonna say her name on camera because she would probably kill me. <laughs> but her name has shun in it s-h-u-n so it's just a mixture i think it's cute but i just i don't know if i would feel right naming my son there because how would that look on a resume so but honey let her tell it that's his name and that's what she gonna call him the sixth name the sixth and seventh name I'm not gonna say are like favorites to me or least favorites because these are names that I kind of just thought of with the order that my kids' names are in. So from oldest to youngest, my kids' name is Ramila Saray and Trinity. If you didn't realize, those are in order of the alphabet, R-S-T. With Ramila and Saray, I don't remember if I necessarily did it on purpose. I think that when I thought I was pregnant, I just started looking up biblical names and I fell in love with that name. And I actually told my ex-husband and he was just like, let's go for it. But then once we confirmed we was pregnant and we confirmed it was a girl, I actually wanted to go with a different name, which was Madison. And he was like, no, you already said Saray. I love that name. We can call it Ray Ray, blah, blah, blah. And that's what it was. So then once I got pregnant with Trinity, yes, I did want to stay in the order. R-S-T and Trinity was biblical. It was easy. And we just went with that. So I did think about staying in order of their names. So the next name would be Uriah. I love Lariah. Uriah is a beautiful name. If y'all hear my kids, I'm sorry. I got kids. But Uriah, I think, is a beautiful name. And like I said, it definitely goes in the order of RST. So that's where Uriah came from. And Uriah, I want to say, is a biblical name as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it is. And then the seventh name is actually in order as well, but it's before are and i didn't want to go out of order but for all my kids names to be like alphabetical order would have been cute and that name is quincy so you know q r s t so quincy is a really i think strong and and, and bold name as well i think it's a simple name i'm very big on simple names even though some people feel where myla is not a simple name i do you say it just like you spell it to me it's easy to spell to me it's easy to say but believe it or not people get my daughter name wrong all the time but uriah and quincy were in the order of the alphabet that i wanted with my kids name and i think they're both really simple names but like i said those are names we will not be going with the eighth name is Sebastian. I love that name. I think that is a strong name. I do know a lot or know of a lot of people named Sebastian, but I just, I don't know. It's just Sebastian. Sebastian Faulkner. I think that would be a strong name. That's the only name I said with the last name. With my fiance's last name. But I don't know. It's no big story behind Sebastian. I just really love the name Sebastian. The ninth name is kind of, I'm not going to say, because a lot of people said the name Hector is not a black person's name. You know, that's like a Hispanic name. So this next name is, I guess, what people wouldn't call a black name either. They would call it 
Lord, I'm not racist, but a white name. And I know where I got it from, but I, I just like the name. Again, it's simple, it's different, but maybe not too different, but it's Wyatt. Um, Wyatt came from Charmed. <laughs> if any of you ever got into the show Charm, comment down below. I'm sorry, my grandma, my mom, like we love that show. I've seen every single episode of Charm. I have not and will not watch the new Charm series that they got going on, but I really like the name Wyatt. And in the show Charmed, uh, one of the sisters named their son Dad. And I just, I keep saying it, but I just think these are some like, powerful strong name so why was definitely on the list the tenth name is there's no story behind that whatsoever but grayson i seen that name and i'm like that is so cute i wouldn't know i don't know if i would spell it with the e or a but grayson i think is a really like cute name for a boy the eleventh name that i thought of and i've always said since i was younger that i was gonna name my son this and then like i said i've met a lot of them boys and girls and i know a lot of people that have named their son this recently and that is malachi i really 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 like the name malachi malachi is the name i've actually been liking since i was probably about 12 or 13 years old not that i was thinking about having kids that young it's just I really like the name Malachi, but I went to school with like two or three Malachi's. Actually, two of them were actually girls. And then, like I said, I have a few people that I know who's actually named their son Malachi. And I just went and want to, you know, do the same. Last but not least, again, this is a movie reference for this name. And it's one of my favorite movies. Last name that I'm going to mention in this video is Mitch. I love the name Mitch. It's very simple. And yes, I got the name from Paid in Full. <laughs> Money making Mitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Mitch Faulkner doesn't sound good together, though. It doesn't. But I like the name Mitch. <laughs> That is all for the boy names that I have. I really didn't come up with girl names whatsoever. I thought it would be cute to do a boy and a girl name video, you know, that I like. But, you know, names that I'm not going to use. But y'all, when I tell you I didn't want another girl, so I didn't come up with no girl names. And even to this day, I think that if I knew it was a girl or it was a girl, I still don't know what I would name her. So I hope you all really enjoyed this video. Please comment down below any other pregnancy videos you would like to see me do. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already and watch some of my other videos. I love you all and thank you for the support. Bye.